Hello friends, my name is Namita Paladari and I am the author of Introspective Affair along with other books and welcome to the second episode of Chataka Tales. Today I got you a beautiful tale from the life of Buddha that will surely inspire you to do good in this world. Before we start, let's start with a prayer to Tathagata. Om Muni Muni Maha Muni Shakya Muni Swaha Let's start with our today's story. The story title is King of Shilis. This is a tale of charity. Upon a great king, the Bodhisattva delighted in using his vast amount of wealth and power to give charity to the poor. He constructed massive arms, halls stocked with various goods, provision and grain. He would even supply dwellings, clothing, perfumes, gold and silver to all who requested. One day, however, while touring one of his great halls, the king noticed that there was only a small number of supplicants, and that troubled him. It seemed that the beggar thirst for aid was easily quenched, but his thirst for giving was not. It was during this time that he started to question whether he would accept a bolder request, such as one of his organ or limbs. Shakra, the lord of God, heard this and went to test the king. Disguised as an old blind Brahmin man, Shakra asked the king for one of his eyes. The king did not just accept his request, but immediately gave the blind Brahmin both his eyes. Despite all his closest advisor imploring him not to. Sometime later, now the sightless king was sitting cross-legged in his garden by a pool of lotuses. Shakra once again approached him, this time in his true form, and rewarded the generous king by restoring his eyesight. The king then addressed his awestruck kingdom, telling them that the only real value in wealth is that one that can be given away to help of others. And here we come to the end of our story. Friends, giving can be considered as an antidote to poison of selfishness, greed, attachment and craving. Clinging bind us to the cycle of birth and death. In addition to the various material benefit that one receive, it also liberates us. As Buddha once said, Bhikkhu, if you be news as I know now, the result of giving and sharing, they would not eat without having given, nor would they allow the stain of meanness to obsess them and take root in their mind, even if it, were, if it were their last morsel, their last mouthful, they would not eat without having shared it. If there were someone to share it with, but because, as beings do not know, as I know, the result of giving and sharing, they eat without having given, and the stain of meanness obsess them and take root in their minds. Through this video series, friend, I'm trying to learn more about Buddha and his teaching. And if you wish to read my books, you can find them on Amazon. Links will be in the description below. Have a beautiful week, friends. We'll meet you on next Thursday. Thank you.